we've spent um, a day or so on this guy now and we've got um, all of the body is um, lined up in such a way that we can um, pose him quite quickly and as you can see here we're just doing a kind of superhero Tony Stark pose um, we've got the maximum layers used so um, let's have a look we've got 20 layers and that ended with this stand here so I've got a, I might have a couple of extra bits in there that could go but the 20th uh, the, the, the 20th layer was some piping but the 19th layer there is 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 um, is the land or the, the the shattered city that this guy sat on um, um, what kind of show on him here so the we've split him down into head and then one emissive layer for the green eye and um, so you can see his head there um, the chest which also includes the uh, uh, backpack at the back which holds the scissor blades um, there's two uh, one one for each of the shoulders which allows quite a bit of movement um, in the in the shoulders the hips which allows lots of rotation in the hips which is nice and then the uh, thigh for each side and the uh, the bottom of the leg and the foot and that gives me 20 layers which is is, is obviously maximum um, so I'm going to do two or three different poses of him um, but currently he looks like that just get him lined up with a camera for a turntable and I've got the light here you'll see um, for anyone who doesn't do a lot of this I've got lights set up over here uh, or a light set up over here one of the things I do want is a is a multiple light set up um, but what we try to do quite often is just like that so that's now locked the, oops, get it there. lock the light to the model so that's a static um, static light that's moving with it so you're not seeing the shadows moving now which is always nice well, that's uh, my version of uh, Gushin, Gushin Rebake um, from the Gundam world um, and I'll do some renders and I'll try and do just single light renders like this just to, to show what he's looking like um, coming straight out of oculus medium and this one is um all of the stamps for this are all uh, custom so i've decided i'm going to try and stick with custom stamps that are just made within within medium and just made for for this kind of job rather than the, the stamps that are given away in, inside medium and um, so it's, it's, it's nice just to do it with your own stamps so that's him bit of a close-up before i go with him so there you go. I don't know whether you can see him any better, closer up. I'm spinning around. I've set the, the spin speed slow so I can see him a lot better. And that last layer, incidentally, was I keep that layer for doing things like this so I just you can see the piping once I've done a pose it's nice to add specific little last minute um, pipes and tubes and things that, that just help the that just for that pose and they'll get deleted um, when I repose him <laughs> 